the Polynesians, 2000 BCE to CE 1000. The Polynesians were a unique people in Pacific Islands. They were remarkable sailors, venturing far into the Pacific Ocean in search of new homelands. In their mythology, the Polynesians say they came from the heavens. Though a mystical land they once thought to be Hawaii, historians and language experts believe they originate from Taiwan, migrating in open canoes to the Philippines around 3000 BCE, then to the Bismarck Archipelago off of New Guinea around 2000 BCE. They carried with them pigs, dogs, chickens, as well as fruits and vegetables like coconuts, taros, yams, breadfruit, and bananas. From these people, the Lapita culture developed. Its people used shells to make tools, and they also made pottery, which had intricate and beautiful patterns. Migration. The Polynesians embarked on a planned journeys of discovery. They were great navigators and had advanced knowledge of the stars, ocean currents, winds, and the wildlife. Around 1300 to 1000 BCE, the Polynesians moved to New Caledonia, Van uh, Vanu Vanuatu, Fiji, Samoa, and Tongo, Tonga, and then to Tahiti and the Maquisas Islands. By 200 BCE, they had reached Easter Island, and by CE 300, uh, sorry, they had reached Easter Island by 300 CE and Hawaii by 400 CE. Some of them migrated to Aturiaria, which is New Zealand, by 850, where they settled and became known as the Maori. On the islands, they bred animals and used the vegetables and fruit that they carried to plant new crops that are found throughout the islands. Ocean travelers. The Polynesians sailed to the Americas, bringing back the sweet potato, and traded with some of the Aborigines in Australia. They crossed thousands of miles in open sea in their explorations and migrations. On the Pacific Islands, they lived in tribal societies ruled by chiefs, and they became experts in wood carving. They were isolated from Asia and Indonesia, where towns and nations were developing. It was only when European explorers such as Captain Cook arrived in the region in the 1700s that they began to influ influence by outsiders. On Easter Island, there are a number, number of remarkable and unique stone sculptures of heads, measuring up to 12 meters high. They are thought to have been built by the Polynesians, however, Polynesians did no stone carving elsewhere, and it is probable that the carvings are much more ancient, possibly built by an earlier people for unknown reasons. Meanwhile, in Arotiaria, the Maori developed their own separate tribal culture, growing in number to 250,000 and splitting into village farmers and warrior societies.